Yo, and welcome back to Secondhand Gameplay's playthrough of Pokemon Silver. It's a Nuzlocke. We're gonna, we're gonna do a, a game here. Let's, let's play it. Wow. Nailed it. Christ. I could do that over. Not gonna, though. It's not because I'm lazy. Because I, uh, I'm real. I'm real. I want my life on this screen. That's what this is. Let's go continue. Alright, so... If you haven't seen the first episode, maybe go back and watch it. Probably not a whole lot that you missed in terms of, you know, if you if you know what a Nuzlocke is, you know what happened. We picked out a starter and uh, grabbed one more Pokemon, as you can tell from my Pokedex there. Let's take a quick review, though. I'm Fettle, in the game at least. Oh, I should give... anyway. Here's Wumpet, the Totodile, level 8, male, Scratch Leer Rage holding a berry. We've got decent attack, decent defense, not a whole lot else going on here. Newest addition we caught last time was this squirrel girl named Segworm. Don't ask me why. Amazing stats across the board. Real consistent, real nice. Looking at the one move, the only move it'll ever need. The same type of attack bonus. Tackle. We're going to try and train this this thing up. Then, that's how you get attached, right? You, you train it up out of necessity. And you get attached to, like, the worst Pokemon out there. Why is it nighttime? It's not that late. Alright, well, regardless... We didn't catch anything on this route. Can I buy some Pokeballs? That's my main concern. Because last episode I flaunted the fact that, oh, I'm the best. I can do anything. I've played Nuzlocke before, but you know what? I'm not taking any risks. I'm buying ten more balls. Ten more balls. Here we go, right back into the boskage, looking for some... Maybe a Hoot Hoot. It's so dark out. Let's see what we got. No, of course not. It's a rat. Of course. We're running double normal types on this team. <sighs> do I even... Do I even use Segworm on this? There's no point. What am I even going to do with this thing? Why? Why? Why am I cursed to be, like, Joey's older brother? And it's not Joey from, uh... That is his name in Friends, right? I don't really watch Friends. Anyway... It's, it's Dumb Joey, who has a rat. Alright, yep. Enemy Rattata used Tackle. Wonderful. Three whole damage off. Let's, um... Let's throw a Pokeball at this thing, because I don't want to not catch this, right? Like, yeah, I'm going to need it down the line, even if I replace it on the team. <laughs> Just get in the ball! I don't need you, I don't want you, you're useless. Oh, I'm setting myself up for failure. Ain't that lovely. Oh my god. You're not worth the hassle. Even Segworm's like, okay, it's gonna evolve at 15. It's... <sighs> Alright, thank you. Christ. You're lucky you didn't just become a snack for Wuppet. Rattata. Rat. A foot tall rat. That's honestly a little scary. Living wherever there's food available, it ceaselessly scavenges for edibles the entire day. Not anymore. Alright, what are we naming this thing? What are we naming this thing? <laughs> the first thing that popped in my mind is clueless, because this thing just looks clueless. Let's use it. Let's use it. Um Who's clueless? Who is clueless to everything around them? That's really an insult. Who who can I insult by calling them Rotata? Hmm. Hmm. Clueless. Clueless. You know who was clueless? Was Euron in Game of Thrones. I guess I can't talk about Game of Thrones much. What with spoilers. Hmm. Let's just call him, uh... 
Start with C for Clueless. Here, you know what? We'll just call him Cool. Coolless. And that way I can lie to myself about him being cool. Perfect! Oh, that's great. I love lying to myself. I do it every day. Every day I tell myself it'll be okay. Alright, Coolis. You know what? Your stats are better than, uh... Better than Segworm. Let's go back and... Well, no, nah, we can just train Segworm up. Let's see what it could have been. A Hoot Hoot. Again, not a great Pokemon, but... It can learn psychic moves. Alright, Segworm, you can take out this... This owl. Squirrel versus owl. Topton, what the hell? Why with the crits? Well, you're still probably gonna beat this owl. Top 10 anime fights. Top 10 Pokemon anime fights. Centret versus Hoot Hoot. Please keep growling. This is becoming intense. Wow. <clears throat> Riveting, thank you. Please end this thing's life. Thank you. Oh, that was less than half. You're gonna need some help. You know what? Let's get another berry. Yep, fruit bearing tree. I've got one of those myself, if you know what I'm saying. Alright, well. Here we go, another endless depth of hell. It's a hoot hoot. I don't think you can take this one, Segworm. Let's switch out to Wumpet, our main man. Oh, man. You know what? This is how you get attached to your, your Pokemon, is one of them ends up just being okay, and the others are all terrible. So the okay one, you're like, wow, I guess this is the best I got. You just rely on them. That's where I'm at with Wumpet. You know what? I started this out saying I don't really like Totoda. I think Wumpet was just going to be Wumpet, but you know what? Wumpet's actually turning out to be Wumpet. And he's killing an owl. You know what? Earlier I said alligators beat pigeons, and you know what? Alligators beat owls. That was nothing for Wumpet, but I bet that was hella XP for Segworm. Okay, here's about to be some more hella XP for Segworm. Is this Joey? Is this youngsta Joey? I feel like I should give him a, a New York accent, which I used to... I used to have, because I'm from New York originally, but... I don't know if I really had the accent, or if I just thought I did. Never can tell when you're young. I'll, I've lived in Florida most of my life now anyway, so... Just be glad I don't have a southern drawl. Youngsta Joey wants to battle. No, it's not there. It's not there. It's not there! No, not even on a good day. Not even on a good day. That's... Clearly that's enough. Please, Wumpet. Dispose of this thing. Wow. Chomping on the job. Can't stop eating. You're gonna be fat before you know it. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Scratch up this rat! Wow. Well, while, uh, while my blue alligator is just demolishing some rats in a, in a dark forest... Oh, Segworm grew to level 4, fucking finally! Now you, you might even be on par with... With fucking... I already forgot his name, Coolis. Let, let's check you out compared to Coolis. If you have one stat higher than any of Coolis's stats, I'll be amazed. You're 88897. <sighs> And let's not forget HP, which is at 17. So, 88897 8, 8, opposed to 108811. 8, 8, so, your special defense is one higher, and your HP is one higher. Thanks. Coolest got you beat in the speed and the attack departments, however. Well, while I'm doing a little bit of this, uh, these, these. A major story battles, clearly. 
Let me tell a story. Hmm. Telling stories. What can I tell? I'm sure there's tons of stories. I have tons of stories about my dad. He, uh, he grew up in the 60s and 70s, and some crazy shit went on back then. He always tells me stories. One time, he and one of his brothers, he's got four brothers. One time, he they were all playing King of the Hill, and were just like there was just a big pile of dirt, and they all climbed on it. And one of his brothers was like, I'm going to throw this rock! And just, like, fucking threw a rock. And all the kids were like, okay, and just ran. Because, because you know, you see some kid on a, on a sand hill, and he's just like, I'm going to throw a rock! Of course, the first thing you do is run to where the rock is probably going to land, as opposed to going in and tackling him off the mountain. So he's, he throws it, and of course, my dad is the one that gets hit with it, right on the head, right on the top of the head. My uncle, of course, submits that, oh, he ran underneath it. He basically hit himself on the rock from the air. But now, my dad's the one with a lumpy head. And he didn't even know that he was, like, bleeding from it. He's like, oh, man, what was that? Just completely clueless. So he went to a friend's house later after that, and they were just eating cereal or some shit. And the mom came over and found blood all over his head and the, probably the table, the floor, the cereal, the dog, his friends. It was probably just like a, a massacre scene. It was like the massacre girl from Magic the Gathering. just blood everywhere. So that was probably fun for them. And uh, that's the man who raised me. So you can tell that I'm in a, in a great state of mind. Alright, so while I told that story, I completely zoned out. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know if we fought the first gym yet. I've been fighting Rattatas for like a solid 12 years now. So I'm not 100% sure what the deal is. Well, that wasn't the gym leader, that was Youngster Mikey. Another distinctly New York name. That's strange, I won before. You think you win once and you just, you're just never gonna lose again, huh? You worried you got clocked and... Uh, Jesus. Let's do one more fight. But it's not gonna be this bitch here. She's not gonna fight me. Alright, you're gonna be it. I'm eyeing you. Instead of bug Pokemon, I found a trainer! Real nice. Wouldn't you rather just find more bugs, you friggin' freak? Bug catcher Dawn. Great. Now I'm gonna feel bad about beating up on Ash's first catch. I know it's not the same one, but I'm gonna feel bad about it. He missed his string shot? Now I feel really bad. Well... That's okay. Segworm, you'll get some easy EXP from this worm, caterpillar. It's not a worm. Why would I call it a worm? You know why I called it a worm? Because I saw Segworm. And you know what's even weirder? I named a squirrel Segworm. That's the real folly here. That's the true fallacy. That's the, the pinnacle of humankind right here, is just naming a squirrel worm. Segworm. Like a segment of a worm. I've got the brains of a goat, I tell ya. But here I am winning. Critical hit. Thank you, Jesus. You, we needed it. We needed it. Two crits in a row. Call me God. I don't know any other languages other than English, and I barely speak it. But if I could pray to God in five other different languages right now, I think I would. Hmm. I do know a couple things in French, because I took French for three years in high school. I know God is Dieu. But I don't know any prayer words. I don't know any phrases. I just know, Mon Dieu, which is just my God. That almost seems sacrilegious. That reminds me of another story. I knew a kid in elementary school. Probably shouldn't say his name, though he might not even care. But he was a freak. And, uh, and he would just come into school and say just the freakiest shit. 
What am I even doing? I'm not- why did I even click this? I'm not putting anyone in the friggin' PC. Anyway, this kid was just a freak, and, and one day he just comes into like four- it's fourth grade, and we're just talking about, I don't know, Pokemon or some shit, probably. I, he, he, he liked Pokemon. He was, he was like, yeah, I played Pokemon before school. I was like, what? You don't just wake up and your parents drive you here? It's not like a slave driver just tells you to get your ass in the car and drives you. But anyway, he just comes in and he's like, <laughs> he starts saying Sacre Bleu, which is just, I don't know, sacred blue in French. And then he's just like, <laughs> he's like, Sacre Bleu, more like suck my boob, and it was the funniest thing for a fourth grader. I think milk actually came out of a kid's nose. I do believe he got some kind of ISSP in school suspension for that, because I think our teacher heard it. Or maybe a, a lunch lady. That's another story. The lunch ladies at my uh, school were, um, they were all Filipino, and I'm Chinese, right? I'm half Chinese at least. It, it's, it's something, alright? It's, it's decent, I'll take it. So, I kind of look, I'm half Italian, half Chinese, I kind of look like a bunch of different races. I kind of look like a bunch of different things. I'm, people come up to me and just start speaking Spanish to me. And I'm like, what? And they keep talking to me in Spanish. It's like, okay, I'm sorry, I, I don't know what you're saying, I wish I did. I wish I spoke Spanish. And, and so the lunch ladies are, are, were all Filipino and they would talk to me in Tagalog, and I don't speak Tagalog. I don't speak Chinese, I don't speak Italian, neither do my parents. We've been in this country for a billion years. So, I clearly don't speak Tagalog. And they just, they every single day would be like, Oh, did you learn Tagalog today? And they would just talk to me in Tagalog. And, I don't know, I think they liked me because I, I looked Filipino maybe, or because they just, they liked the fact that there was a Chinese kid, even, in this super southern Florida school. I don't know, but it was hilarious. It was great. They all they all liked me. Either way. Anyway, let's wrap this up. Um, Segworm, Wumpit, and our newest friend, Coolis. We got a real team going here. Why did I think Segworm's HP was 17? It's 19, very clearly. Makes him a... No, because it was 17. Never mind. What am I talking about? It, he leveled up. Whatever. Ugh. Thanks for watching. Episode 2 of the Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke on Secondhand Gameplay. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what you see, then let me know with comments and likes. See you next time on Secondhand Gameplay.